But now we adopted a, a decentralization program where we are, they have devolved the functions and powers to local councils, to district councils. Mangoch has won. Government has devolved, has given us responsibility for primary education, health care, primary uh, health care, uh, and, and all the water, provision of water and the like. But we, what was lacking, what is lacking now is the resources. We don't have enough resources for us to steer this process. Mm -hmm. I see that coming and given us the trust and the financing into three main key areas, health, education, and water. These are the backbone for service delivery to the community. Mm. By giving us this particular support, a huge sums of money have been transferred to the councils. In the first phase of our program, from 2012 to 20, we received about 7 billion of Malawi culture coming direct to the council. And it's the only donor who has done this to a council. And lucky enough, we managed to account for that money to zero number. It's an excellent relationship because it has proved that it is helping the little people in the village. Mm -hmm. uh, the government of Malawi and the government of Westland, through the bilateral cooperation that we are having and direct support that is coming to Mangoji is really helping us here in the district in Mangoji because uh, we are benefiting at three levels. Uh, the first one is the people themselves. Mm -hmm. uh, we have the people, let's say in education, the students benefiting quite a lot. We are building new classroom blocks and providing them with the the uh, textbooks, we are also providing furniture, and then these teachers, we are building them houses, so they are able. Now we are taking almost all the children out of, uh, out of uh, learning outside under a tree into a very conducive environment. Mm -hmm. Further than that, by providing them with textbooks, mm -hmm. they are able now to have each pupil you have an, having a textbook and having a, some not, notebooks mm -hmm. which they can use. So one, it has increased enrollment, and also we have now started seeing some signs of increasing in terms of pass rate in those schools. When we go to, to health, that's where also we are registering a lot of progress mm. because most of our health centers did not have maternity wings. Mm. They were only dispensaries. So mothers, we are moving, we are suffering. We have distances like 100 kilometers from one health center to another. So mothers have been covering those big distances. Mm. When they are due for delivery, we have been having a lot of problems. Mm. Now, by, by building, like right now, we've built almost nine, nine head, uh, maternity wings. Mm. We have started making them operational. We've already noticed some change in the sense that the mothers now are having access to a, a close-by health mm. center, and they're being treated by, uh, by, maybe by being delivered by a qualified personnel. So that is a very uh, what, and that has also is in the process reducing our maternal deaths because we are able to to, to help our, our mothers quickly. Uh, we have also been assisted with the ambulances. So far, since the cooperation started, almost 11 ambulances have been bought in Mangochi, and this has improved. We have almost all the hard to reach areas mm -hmm. and ambulances stationed there. So immediately there is an emergency. It is quickly referred to the district. And also, we have also improved our referral system from the district to, to the central hospital. And then in the process, we are, we are, we are experiencing a drop in child mortality. Because mm -hmm. once that being delivered by a skilled nurse or a skilled birth, uh, midwife and the process, and also people are being attended to quickly by skilled people, and that has also reduced our mortality rates in, in Mongolia.